A student sent me this question, how would you solve it? It is very easy. Let's solve it together. It said that 50 cm cube of hydrogen as packed with 20 cm cube of oxygen gas at 100 degrees Celsius. This is very, very important. Calculate the total volume of residual gases. This is a very common jam question that you have to know. Let's go. Very easy. Now, if hydrogen reacts with oxygen, it's going to give water. Now, don't forget, this water might not necessarily be in gaseous state. But this 100 degrees Celsius shows that this particular thing is in steam. I mean, because water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So that means this thing must be a gas. And it is important that it must be a gas. Because if it is not a gas, the volume of this particular um, product will be assumed to be zero. Now, of course, we all know that oxygen is a gas, then hydrogen is a gas. Now, you have to balance this equation for us to be able to solve this question. Now, this is hydrogen gas reacting with this, then this. So if you have two of hydrogen gas here, two of hydrogen gas, it is very balanced, no pressure. But look at this, oxygen is one, oxygen is two. So you add two here. So that oxygen is two, oxygen is two. But adding two here, altered hydrogen to the four. So hydrogen here must be what? Two. You don't balance, you don't alter at this level. You only alter at the coefficient level. Now this is a balanced equation. That means it is two of hydrogen reacting with one of oxygen to give two of water, which is steam in this case. It is important that they must all be in gaseous state. If it is not at 100 degrees Celsius, it will be zero. I know what I'm saying because it's important. Now, let's go. They gave us what was given 50 cm cube of hydrogen, 20 cm cube of oxygen. We don't know what this is going to be. Oh, don't forget, the ratio of this is 2 to 1. That means, now look at it. If this is 50, this must be what? 25. Yes, now because if it is 2 to 1, if this one is 50, this one must be 25. That is where the problem is. But what was given? It is 20 cm cube that was given. So that is why you have to understand the concept of what limiting reagent. I will solve, I will solve another question on that. But now let me tell you something. If this one is 20 and this one is 1, automatically this one can be what? 40. Yes, it makes sense. If you are just giving 50, that means you are giving in excess. So this oxygen here is the limiting reagent. Why this one is the excess reagent? I don't want to um, bore you with that. Let me just move on with this question. But just take note of that thing. That means if this is 20, you already know that this one will be what? 40. This one still makes sense. But if this one is 50 and this one is 25, it does not make sense because I have to be borrowing oxygen. You understand? So if this is 40, this one will react with 20. Then this one will eventually give what? 40 because it is what? 2 to 1 to 2. Now that means if this guy actually reacts, if they combine together, you realize that eventually I would have used 40 cm cube. And I would have used up 20 cm cube to now form what 40 cm cube. That's why you see that what will be left here because don't forget this is SS. So I will have 10 cm cube left. But don't forget, yeah, will I have anything? No, I would have used everything. Now, because this is what is formed, this is what 40 cm cube. You can't, this is formation, this is disappearance. So eventually, the total volume, very simple question of residual gas, of residual gas. Residual gas means what is left. What's the total volume of what residual gas? Is what? 10 cm cube plus 40 cm cube. Very easy. What is that? 50 cm cube. You don't need to count. The answer is what? 50 cm cube. So if you know this, you are good to go with residual. But what is important? What do I emphasize? This must be gas. And that's why they said it is what? 100 cm degree Celsius. So you are saying, ah, this is steam. So it is a gaseous state. Why this one? Because if it's not in gaseous state, you can't get 50 cm cubo. <laughs> Please take note. You already know that this is 2 to 1 to 2. I hope this is helpful. If you find this video helpful, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you follow me on these TikToks. If you are watching on TikTok and if it's on YouTube, make sure you follow me. Also, we are already in March. The exam is in April. If you have not joined our post or are you taking classes, send, it, send me a DM to join our class. We've started powerfully since January. And I'm going to be teaching you. These are just the tip of the iceberg. You understand? I'll be teaching you physics. I'll be teaching you chemistry. I'll be teaching you, you know, English self. You understand? So see you in the next class. Bye for now.